بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now in today's sitting we're going to speak about the importance of following Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم What's meant by following Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah عز وجل says in the Quran ما آتاكم الرسول فخذوه ما نهاكم عنه فانتهوا Whatever the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has given to you take it and whatever he has said to you that you should not do, you should keep away from it. Now looking at this verse, are we doing what the ayah has said? Are we truly following Prophet Muhammad Wasallam? Are we? The Prophet Wasallam, for example said, you should pray the way I pray. Are we praying the way Prophet Muhammad Wasallam has said? Are we obeying Prophet Muhammad? We should pray in a way that is suitable to our Lord Azawajal and following the way of the Prophet. Are we being nice to our neighbors? Are we being kind to our mother and fathers? Are we being thoughtful and making excuses for others? Now, frankly, I'm not the best of you. And I'm reminding myself and reminding you that we have to follow the Prophet ﷺ and being conscious in whatever we do. Life is short. Every minute counts. When will you make your life in accordance to Prophet Muhammad ﷺ teachings? When? When you're close to your bed or when you have a few more breaths left in order or before dying? When? When will you truly follow Prophet Muhammad and keep away from your desires? When will you enter into the obedience? Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu udkhulu fi silmi kafa. O people who believe, enter in Islam fully. This is a verse. Enter in Islam fully. Completely. Not portionized. Not the way that we feel today and we don't feel tomorrow. We go in fully. We enter into Islam fully with our mind, thoughts and everything. That's a true Muslim. That's a true, true mu'min. That's a true muhsin. Now are you from one of them or from the highest point of belief? You have to look in yourself and give account. On a minutely basis, daily basis, monthly basis, yearly basis. Time is going. When will you make the change of obedience? When will you be truthful to yourself? Truthful to your Lord? When? 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 Time is going. Try to make the change now. Now, frankly and scientifically, we do not know everything. But Allah Azawajal, the Most High, knows everything and He has given to us two revelations. Two. The Quran and the Sunnah. It's not upon the mu'min to be given an evidence from the Prophet Wasallam, and he refuses to accept it or he says that it doesn't agree to my school of thought. It doesn't agree to how my mother says it. It doesn't agree to how my brother looks at it. What's this? What is this? Is this Islam? Is this being fully obedient to Allah Azawajal? Is this the way of the Prophet وسلم, To be worshipping your desires? Huh? When will you become mindful of the way that you are living which is on Islamic? When you will you will be start obeying your Lord the way that the Prophet Sallallahu has encouraged us to do it? When? 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 Do not waste any more time. Take the initiative now to get closer to your Lord. How? By obeying the Prophet Sallallahu By praying your Salat on the specific time. 
by fasting how the Prophet ﷺ has encouraged us to fast by doing Hajj if you're able to by keeping away from biting by not killing each other by not being envy envious over your brother and sisters by not trying to do others evil for fun by not delaying the rights of people who are under your sponsorship there are numerous things that we can sit and mention which is in the accordance of prophet muhammad وسلم, and the way that we should worship our lord allah azawajal. we need to make a step now we need to make a step today to make a change change of obedience change of following prophet muhammad and I remember a script of one of the companions. Now Aisha radiallahu anha inquired. She said to her father, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, Why is it when we have our menstruation cycle, we are ordered to make up fasting? Why? And on the other hand, we're not ordered to Pray. So Abu Bakr radiallahu anha, radiallahu anhu said to her, Listen, that's what we were ordered to do on the time and in the time of the Prophet وسلم, and that's what we will be doing. Oh, as the, oh, as the companion has said. Look at the strength. Look at the belief of the companion. Look how he responded to his daughter. We are learnt, we are given something, we take it immediately and we do not put our personal views or personal belief before it because it doesn't suit our thinking. We're weak, we get hungry, we die, we reproduce, we get sick. Come on, how can you trust yourself? How can you trust your own instincts? I'm smart, why? Are you senseless to that extent not to take from the Prophet Now the Prophet The Prophet has never spoken according to his own desire. Verily, he speaks according to the the revelation from Allah. We need to raise the Iman. We need to raise the faith in Allah, the Most High, that He knows everything. We need to truly believe it, that Allah, the Most High, knows everything and we have to give an account for what we're doing on a daily basis. Trusting your Lord, trusting Prophet Muhammad وسلم, be conscious of what you're doing on a daily basis. Know that the success only lies in the implementation of Islam in your daily life. Know that. Take it from me. Take it from a person that's his somewhat experienced in a, in in a, I won't boast a lot but try see the tranquility that comes in your heart after praying the way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has encouraged us to do it look pray pray hold your tongue do not say things unless it's good do not say things unless it's beneficial for you and for others when will you become conscious? When will you start truly obeying Prophet Muhammad in all acts of your life? You can portionize it. It has to be done fully. Fully, fully, fully. When? Take the initiative. Take the time. Go and sit with the scholars. Do not just read from any book and get an understanding according to how you feel or according to your limited understanding sit with the scholars you can find them if you're doubtful about a hadith go on the internet there are many Salafi scholars on the internet that can help you I'm sure many of the questions that you have were presented or understood by others before and the answers are there for you you just have to search you just have to search, look, obey. That's it. Nothing is easier than this. 
Nothing is easier than going with Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Now we need to make the life only for Allah by making our actions in accordance to the Prophet Wasallam and doing this in the best of all ways. The Prophet Wasallam has encouraged us in many situations to follow him. And even Allah in the Quran has taught us to worship him, believe in him and follow his messenger. When will we make the change? We need to make the change before there's no time for changing. And that time is unsure for us because we are we are limited thinkers. We don't know when that death will come to us. We don't know when that time of departing will see us. We don't know when. So brothers and sisters, kindly make the change. Follow Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and try to increase yourself in knowledge. Try to implement what you have learned on a daily basis and sit with the people of knowledge. Speak to them. They're everywhere. You can find them. You can find pious scholars everywhere. Alhamdulillah. The knowledge is here. The knowledge is written down. The knowledge, you can find it on the internet from reliable sources. Please make the change. And if you have any comment or feedback about this sitting, please feel free to put anything at the, under this YouTube setting. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mm -hmm.